Welcome to Tractor Battle Games, another GBHL YouTube video. You're here with your host, GBHL Damien, and this is Matchup of the Day. That's quite a <laughs> angry noise. So yes, as ever, here we are for matchup of the day. Uh, I'm your host as ever, GBHL Damien, and I'm joined again this week by... GBHL Tom. We for the second semi-final mm. following the first semi-final that you saw yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, so we already have one finalist. We yeah. saw the exciting semi-final um, between Loth Lorien and the Woses. Yep. But today's match, Tom, altogether different. Yeah, I mean, it's two different armies. Both armies are different. Yeah, they are. So who have we got up today? We have Minas Tirith against the Shire. Ooh. And so, one yeah. thing we didn't mention in the last video is that we have four semi finalists who are all good armies. Smashed it. Yeah. Correct. So I don't get anything right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, which is quite an interesting observation. Indeed. Arrogant of you to say so of your own observation, but fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, in, interestingly enough, again, I'm, maybe it's not interesting, uh, when I first made my whole predictions for the entire <laughs> thing... <laughs> you just called me arrogant for saying interesting. <laughs> Do it Here's the thing that I got right. <laughs> um, I got, heard it as it was coming out. Yeah. Um, when I first made my entire um, first predictions right at the start, yeah. I got two of the semi-finalists right. Ooh. So I had Sharky's Rogues versus the Shire and Gondor versus Isengard. So I got two out of four right right from the start. Interesting. What's, what's spectacular is when it got a stage further, so after the group stage, yeah. we had the quarter finalists. Yeah. I got none of the yeah. semi finalists right. <laughs> so you were better from the start. Yeah, but what what's interesting of course is this like the Shire and Minas Tirith were both there. But they were also playing your other semi finalists themselves. Did you have got no you They weren't playing Rose. themselves. Oh, no. So why didn't but you put Minas Tirith through? What were you doing? Because at that at that point I rate based on the draw. Yeah, you thought. In the new best. draw, I rated um Goblin Town. Yeah, yeah, Goblin Town against them. And Isengard against the Shire. Interesting. Which is bizarre to think that like when we first started I thought two of these could get to the semis, but then when I saw their quarter final matchups I thought, no, they're not getting to the semis. Yeah. Interesting. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Yourself? Yeah, well, I got the same. I got two from the at the very beginning. I got two of the semi finalists, but they were different to yours. I went for Shire and Woses. Right, okay. Well, you had the Shire. Yeah. Um, I also had Isengard, and I had pff, one of the big disappointments of the whole tournament, the Easterlings. Yeah, although. Um, so today's match then, the final semi-final, um, yeah. it's Gondor against the Shire, Correct. how do you see it going? Um, I'm going to back Shire. Shire? Yeah. I've, I've gone, I had, I had um, when the, the quarter-final draw was done again, I said this in yesterday's matchup of the day, I'd gone for a Shire Woses final, mm. so I'm going to go for Shire here. As ever, we, we haven't seen the match yet, but is there any weight whatsoever in the Gondor player standing back? And count, counting on the defence to protect him against four bows. Don't know, because the Shire's pretty good in combat as well, because there's enough of got a horse and the pony, yeah. It might sound it might sound mad, but it's, it, I think it's four bows because they must have twelve. Yeah. And the stones only come into it once they've walked up to you. So you think try and beat them in a shooting? I world. don't know. Work for Isengard. Yeah. 
<laughs> with their but Berigon, crossbow we, we know, and Vraskin. We know who Berigond has done right, but they, they didn't have the defence, they didn't have this no. supreme defence. Well, they did, they just put the orcs on the front. Not as much, they weren't defence. Oh, yeah, defence. Yeah, but it's still sixes, right? It's sixes against defence five or six with hobbits, so. So it'd be sixes oh, by four. Oh, the defence seven is front court. Yeah, front court shields. Oh, yeah, no, no, yeah, do it, do yeah. it. Yeah, it's not normal, it's, what am I thinking? Yeah, yeah, do it. Yeah, that's, that, that's what I was thinking. Mm, Thanks. Mm, mm, mm. Um, Until Baragon dies, and then you're in trouble. Cause but then you're in, you're not you're not in that much trouble because you then got a turn or something to walk yeah. towards them and probably I, not take many more casualties. I don't think you'll take much. They don't need to worry about the throw stones, so they could just go forward. And I mean, it's, it's it's a hell of a choice because you might get a few, but it's, that's a long shooting war. One shot turn. Yeah, I think I I I'd walk forward with them. But leave Berrigan to Maybe walk shoot forward, the pony. Walk forward half. Yeah, shoot the pony once you've got the pony. Go. And then how can they overcome their numbers? You're at number two to one. By being defence seven and hoping that. Two attacks against one. Have they got piercing strikes in there? Couple yeah, few piercing strikes, bash. Yeah, they're, they're going to struggle, I think. But we've seen swings before, they just need. The problem is. It's quite good ones down the park. Yeah. <laughs> They don't have they don't have a big hero to do a hero combat, so I've got they're eight, relying out eight, eight dead goblin barons, yeah. but they are relying on grinding out the victory here. Mm. It's going to be a dull defensive display to win, but that can win. I think I think if if the shooting does very little and they manage to get rid of Mary's pony early doors either by shooting or by him fluffing his first combat roll, then they've got a chance. Because the hobbits will struggle to kill, give or take. Yeah. It's all in those fir the first round of combat. If Gondor managed to kill a couple and don't lose many themselves, then they could do it. If it swings too much to the hobbits, they're going to start getting trapped and piercing struck and they, they won't win. Yeah. I think probably getting stuck in is a better option for Mr. Mm -hmm. And they're just counting on it. Because even if they pierce and strike, up to stroke four, like on a one, will yeah. still be sixes. Mm -hmm. Up stroke five, fives. You know they're not. Yeah. They're if they're not traps, it's not the guaranteed yeah. kills. No. But I think I think the Shire will take it. Yeah. I think the Shire have been. I, I don't know. For me, the I said this to Jay last week. I'll be very curious to see how many people in those envelopes wrote the Shire. I think the Shire were the start of the tournament favourites. Yeah. Essentially, yeah. And I think they. And I think they've been pretty efficient all the way through. Yeah. Even with Isengard, just dispatch them. Yeah. What's that, Brasby? Sent two hobbits. Yeah. <laughs> Have it. Well, but I think also it's made, turns, no, like I think it's made a big difference having Harry playing the hobbits because they're his army. Because he cheats. <laughs> 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 he doesn't cheat, he's lovely. Um, so yeah, there we go. So we're both yeah. going for the Shire? Yeah. So no division in the studio tonight. No. Will the Shire make it through to the final? We're going to go and watch the game and find out. So we're back, having watched the second semi-final. It's all over. That game is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Classic end of something there. Um, Minister of the Shire. The Shire Minister of couldn't do it, no. They did not really turn up. It was a poor show all round. It was. It was. Even, yeah. Yeah, it was a terrible effort. Terrible effort, you'd say, for a minister. Yeah, I'd be really disappointed if I was a minister of fun. Yeah, and if you're a player as well, yeah. that you've got that, you feel like you've got that far and then not turned up. Yeah, you've got an opportunity there potentially. Tough game, definitely. The mm -hmm. um, so minister of fell again. If you watched the semi-final match up the day yesterday, you would know about Tom's foul mouth. More of that um, when early on Jamie moved four hobbits into charge range. Tom was not. He was not pleased. Didn't even put your head in. <laughs> Just kind of flicked a bit of hair towards it. I know, I said I didn't get in. <laughs> um, Emily Burns been out for her uh, end of term <laughs> party tonight. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, I was unimpressed by that move. Unimpressed by that move? Yeah, so, you know, Harry needed to lose priority mm -hmm. so that at least he could force the issue. 
Which he did. Which he did. But Jamie had the option, okay, yeah, it's a bit more boring of moving out of charge range, but positioning ready for the next turn. But instead he went for the crazy manoeuvre of put four hobbits up against the two ranks of um, Fountain Court, which was asking, I mean, if four of them had died there, it could have swung, swung the lot. Yeah, now, as it, as it turned out, I think definitely one of the hobbits died, possibly two, two died. Two, two but, um, died. If we watch when one of them dies here, Jamie's able to he's able to put a positive spin on things. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I'll start two on one. And now fate with my front, which is the red. I get five. Six wins it. Red dice, three rolling ones. Balls. Kills. Makes way for an axeman. One on one. I want sheriff. Just gonna fight normal. Same. Wins it. Fours. Fours. Kills. Makes way for another axe. <laughs> so there, the, the quote is uh, "makes way for another axe." Uh, the guy's deluded. <laughs> it's, good, it's good, confident play, though. Yeah. Like, I don't, these guys, <laughs> these guys haven't got axes. Get rid of them. Kill them. Yeah, then kill get them. the second wave. Yeah, in. Second wave. So we were. I, I like. I I liked the um, the confidence in Gutsy, that. You know, it? that's what I wanted to happen. Gutsy, I'm not glad reckless. He, yeah, well, exactly. Um, I'm glad he's dead. Yeah. I've got hundreds <laughs> of them. This one's got a better axe. Yeah. And <laughs> um, going back though, Harry bunkered up at the start. Yeah, which we talked about. Yeah. We discussed as as a tactic. Um, did but not we go agreed, well. We agreed that it wasn't the right tactic in the end. Yeah. We, and I think. I. It didn't work out too badly, but it got... I mean, Berrigan probably would have got shot anyway if he was walking towards them. And Jamie was able to get a shot where he only had a wide end away. Mm -hmm. And I think it was the first third. First yeah. shot and does a win. So he bunkered up. Oh, but he, he had to have just one in the way because if he wanted Berrigan to shoot back, he needed yeah. to have that. Yeah, of course. There was a strong cry of YOLO from uh, Jamie. Yeah, as he got the six. As he got the six, which is uh, always good to see. Nope. Very um, guns, sixes. YOLO, six, wound. YOLO, six, wound. But yeah, Berrigan did manage to kill one with shooting, mm -hmm. but it was not quite the terrifying. Uh, no, and I think he could have been there in combat. Well, Berrigan in combat did jump into Mary. Yeah, that was a good move. Him, and he had two Fancourt and Berrigan trapped on him. That was a chance. Definite chance. Won it, couldn't kill him. No, and he, he went to kill him, I guess, fair enough, rather than trying to get the pony. I would have gone for the pony, though, I think first. he got six attacks, though. You've got to want to, you want to take that pony, surely. But maybe With six, was, you've got a good chance of getting Yeah. Him. Yeah, it was on the last roll, though. He got, he needed two wounds, didn't he, on the last one? Maybe. Go big, go big. Try and kill him. Well, not with a hobbit. Yeah, go so. Um, so, yeah, and obviously, I mean... I mean, this tournament has become a tournament of cock dice. Yeah. Yeah, it's what, it's what people it's remember. It's what they remember. Yeah, it's what, you know. And, and there was yet more madness cock dice related. Uh, if we have a look at this now. Yeah, fire some of these two. White dice need fives, red Sweet. dice is... Oh, he's just a... He's taking five fours. Oh. Oh, I think it is. Oh, yeah. is it not then? I give him that. <laughs> that is the kill. So we have yet another. Controversial decision. I don't know if it's controversial or just shambolic. Oh, well, well, there's a point where it's getting to when you know the people are looking out for these things, you expect them to be tightening up on them. Yeah. So we get a cocked dice. Yeah. Jamie gets. Is it cocked? He did better in the last round because in the last round he was just like, it's not cocked, moved on. Yeah, he go did with put the a dice on it. This time I, I don't think that's cocked. Put a dice on it. It falls off. It's cocked. It's cocked the way. Another dice comes in and stays. Yeah. Cheeky little nudge there. Well, I, I was wondering if 
I think you just keep doing it. Yeah, the, the dice the dice falls off the table and then you see it come back into shot. And what I think you miss is him going <laughs> just giving it a little giving it a little lick as it goes back on. Or maybe a dab of super glue. Yeah. As it, as it pops on just just out of shot. Um, I've never thought of that as a tactic, super glue for cut dice. You need you just need one special dice with a little bit of double double sided sticky tape. Yeah. Until That's they until they both tumble yeah. off. <laughs> But um, it's good to see. It wouldn't be a Middle Earth World Cup um, tournament without no. some um, controversial cop dice or one of those sodding ruins. Yep. I think by now they're just been playing on a like, barren yeah. landscape. Just get them out of there. Use a tree. Yeah. Um, so yeah, and in a, all in all, they only killed four hobbits, and it was a woeful showing. Yeah. And again. Um, I wouldn't say I told you so, I think it was quite predictable yeah. that we'd, we'd called last week a fairly disappointing set of semi-finals and that really was, I think. It helped you get some correct <laughs> predictions in there. <laughs> I would so. have rather been wrong. It was That was quite an easy match for the Shire. I think a couple of them punched above their weight. I didn't have Minister Tirith come out of the groups, group stage. I didn't, I, have did Laurie, I didn't have Laurie in, so both of those I didn't even have getting out of the group stage. Mm. And I think on... Uh, Lorien put up a good account of themselves, but I think Minas Tirith showed that they they'd gone too far into the tournament. Yeah, I, I think they got found out. Yeah. Um, and it's a bit of a shame because you sort of feel like some of, there were some of the other teams yeah. earlier on. You think of your Sharkies rogues, possibly mm. your Easterlings, Even possibly Dale. your Isengard. Yeah, maybe Dale. I think could have given them mm. Goblin Town. Yeah. Could have given them much tougher semi-finals, but that is the nature. That will be an interesting system. third place. Playoff. It will. So yeah, we do have our finalists on third place post convert, and our third place match will be between Minister of and Florian. Yeah. Thoughts? Um, I think Minister uh, Minister should take it, but depends on the captain. But he's he's unlikely to wear a combat in this one. One elf bow against defence server. I think Minister will take it. Yeah, I do agree. And that of course sets up our big. Final, yep. which is our finalists, the Woeses, against the Shire. Yeah, my phone's buzzing a little in anticipation. Sure, um, <laughs> I... Oh, I don't think we need to speculate because next week we're going to have the, the match up. I reckon date. one of them will it'll be one on penalties. You're going to speculate anyway. <laughs> it's going to be one on penalties. It's going to be a really disappointing yeah. 90 minutes. Um, yeah. But we uh, we hope to be back for the final. You'll have your third day, pl third uh, third place playoff first, and we hope to be back for the final with quite a special match up of the day. I do have a question first before we go there. Okay. Are you still in? Well, that's hurtful. <laughs> you knew I was out for it. I am not going to ask you because I want to keep attention okay. of who you picked. Okay. Whether or not you're in or out. We'll find out um, next week. My phone is not buzzing. Indeed. Um, but yes, yeah, so we'll be back next week. What we hope to be a very special climax to the um, whole tournament, um, for which I'm hoping Tom will be a part of. Probably. Yeah. So you got anything else on? Um, until then, don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, support your host by clicking in the links below. Not your hinks. Not your hinks. Uh, follow <laughs> us on Twitter and likes on Facebook. Support your hobby. Hobby. Happy strategy battle game.